Hey guys, this is video 15 and you'll learn how to change background color on click and so when you're done you'll be able to click through and these will change. Now here it's going to be changing randomly. You'll also learn how to be able to cycle through each color and be able to change it that way. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a JavaScript file. So here I've added in the change background color and that's what I've called it. Dot JS. What is it? Change background. Change background color. Dot JS. So new text document. Change background color. Dot JS. And then along this your folder along here, you should see change background color. Dot JS. Okay, and it should be in the JS folder, and that should be the file name. Okay, and so what we're going to do is first we're going to change our change user. Um, because we're going to use that same button, we're going to actually comment this out. And so just a reminder on how to do comments in HTML is less than exclamation point dash dash, and then at the ending you do dash dash greater than. Just like that. And then we're going to, and you're going to erase it too if, if that's what you'd prefer to do. And, but instead of putting in our change user JavaScript file, we are going to put in our JS folder uh, change, make sure you capitalize it correctly, background color dot JS. And we can test that right from the start by doing alert in our JS folder and saving and saving and making sure that when we refresh this page says this alert of one pops up. Okay. So go ahead and test that and make sure that works. Then since we're not using change user I'm going to change our button to change background color. Now, if you didn't even want to work through the website we've already created, you could have a separate HTML file that just has um, this button on there, and that would also work for what we're doing. Um, but if you're going through what we're doing, this should alert, and if you save, this should now be change background color right here. Okay, and so let's go ahead and go into our JavaScript and we'll take out the alert and we can get started by we're going to need to create a variable and we're going to let our color button equal document dot query selector and what we've done in the last few lessons and in this is this query selector is setting our variable equal to a tag or a class or some something whatever we're putting between these apostrophes so what we're going to do is the tag of button now say we wanted to have multiple buttons on our screen we would need to create a class of button one, button two, button three, maybe. Who would you an ID instead? Or an ID, yes. And then you would need to um, have those called out in, uh, in between these apostrophes with a dot button one, maybe, if that's the class that you choose. But since it's a tag, we don't need a dot. Okay, don't forget a semicolon. Um, let lowercase background equal document dot. Now this is going to say what tag our background is. So this will like kind of say what do we want to change the color of. And so what tag is the entire background? 
of the document, the background alone. Body, yeah. It's almost too too easy. It's hard to think of that. Okay. So now, if we want to add, we're going to add um, a way to click. So we do color button dot. So we're referencing the color button. Add event listener. Click, comma, and we want something to happen. And what do you think we want to have happen? Change the color, right? So we're going to create a function that will change the color for us, but we're going to store it there for now. Now, we could automatically have this change color by doing background dot style dot uh, background color equals red something along those lines and let's make sure this is saved and saved and if I showed you guys that it would automatically change it to red but that's not what we want we want it to only change on the click so we're going to undo this and go back to our change color so we're going to do function change color and we're going to do that similar code background we're going to so this is referencing what the the body specifically obviously our background but the body of our html background dot style dot change I always try to say change but it's background color equals red now the reason this works is the event listener expects a function to be in this second spot if it doesn't have a function and it just had this code in there it would just automatically flip it like it did last time but now that we have the um, the function, thank you. Good call. Okay, so open close parentheses after the function name. Right, right here. Okay, now uh, what if I wanted it to be more than just red? I want to have a few colors in there. What do you think is something that we could do to make that happen? Can we make like a randomizer? Can make a randomizer? Yes. Um, but how would that get the different colors? Anybody got another idea to include with that? Randomizer is part of it. To have five colors that it flips between. Can we add like a list? Yeah, so we're going to learn and, and talk about doing a list or an array. Okay, so if we let colors equal and then you do a bracket. You can choose yellow, comma, blue, green, orange. And if you want to do it, rainbow colors, that could be cool too. Um, red, purple, that's enough. Okay, six colors. All right. So, First, what we're going to do is we're going to set our color and have it cycle through. So I'm going to have a count variable equal to zero. And I'm going to do that background dot style dot background color equals now what do you think we're gonna do here how are we gonna get the different colors and set the different colors yeah so we're gonna start off by just getting one index so colors 
and we're going to get the count variable location in color. So right now that's zero, so it would first change to yellow. Then we're going to have our count add up. So our count plus plus will have every time you click, you cycle through. Um, but then once it gets to purple, it'll be stuck, right? It'll get it'll keep actually going up and it won't won't be able to find anything. So let's see actually what that does. So change, then it gets to purple and it's stuck. Okay, we don't want that. So we want our count uh, to change back to zero when it gets through the whole list. So if count is greater than or equal to does anyone know how to get the, the size of a list? Uh, no. Or the length of the list? Colors dot length. And so if count is greater than or equal to colors dot length, what are we going to do? Reset count back to zero. And we could even, you could add a curly bracket there in case you wanted to do something else as well. So now we check this and we can cycle through. So many colors. All right. Now, if Instead of a counter, let's create a second function um, that we call random color. We can still do background dot style dot background color equals colors. But we're going to do random instead of count. And inside of our function, we will have, and the reason it's inside the function and the count is outside is because this is initializing what count starts at. Here, random will start out random. So we don't need to start it at anything. OK, so we're going to let random equal and we're going to use a few functions that are pre-made from the math class. Okay, so math dot floor will. Does anyone know what that will do? The bottom number. It will round down for the number, and then we'll do math dot random, which gets a random decimal between zero and one. Okay, so that random decimal between 0 and 1 will make it so that when you multiply by colors.length, colors.length is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you multiply by five, uh, 6, which is the length of colors, but you round down that will randomly get you a number between 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, because if it's randomly 0 0.9999, obviously that will be getting you the greatest number and it's close to 1. So that'll get you like 5.98. But then that will round down to 5. And so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would get you purple. Okay, and now this will not work yet because we are not calling random color, we're calling change color. But if we choose random color up here instead of change color for the function that we're going to use, you can see that that's what we'll use. And yeah, there's no order to that color. We are just randomly blue, yellow, blue, and yellow. 
yellow should go to blue, not blue to yellow. So that proves right there that it randomly went from blue to yellow. Okay. Thanks for watching video 15 on changing background color on click. Until next time.